Here, we're going to introduce you to creating a draft file inside of Top Solid. We're going to start by choosing a draft template, and then we'll ask Top Solid to generate a main view of our assembly. Here, we'll choose the main view we want, and we'll just click to locate it. Then we'll ask to create an auxiliary view. Like that, we have our top view. We'll create one more auxiliary view. Perfect, now we have our left side view. And one more auxiliary, and this will be a isometric view. But you know what, maybe we want a custom isometric view. So let's go ahead and modify this view. And we're going to ask it to have the orientation of the view to the right, as well as shade the view. And just like that, the view is now oriented like our design, and it comes through shaded. Very cool. Now, let's make a quick section view. We'll select the view we want a section, and we'll just create a quick vertical section line. And then we'll go over here and we'll locate our section view right there. From here, we'll show you how to create a detail view. So we'll choose the detail view function, we'll select the view we want to make a detail of, and then we'll drag out a circle, and like that, Top Solid does the heavy lifting for you, as usual, and creates the detail view. But we'll show you something fun too. If you move that detail view around, you can see it instantly updates. Very cool. Next, we'll add some basic dimensions. Just like in design, uh, we're using a smart dimension tool, so basically based on how you select, it should automatically interpret the type of dimension you're looking for. So here we want a dimension from that edge to the inside of that circular edge, or the tangent. Perfect. Maybe we'll go ahead and add that radius dimension over there, and how about the same on the other side? Great. And the overall radius of that front bend, why not? Next, maybe we want to get the height of this element here. And then how about the overall height of the main display panel? Perfect. You should be seeing right now that very quickly you can create the drawing you're looking for and display the information that you want to display. We're adding a couple more dimensions here. And like that, I think we're done. Next, I think we're going to add another drawing. So here we'll go to the drawing command, we'll select our border, but I think we'll change to a smaller sheet size. We'll validate, we'll locate it right there, and we'll copy our title block over. Perfect. And from here, we're going to go back to design. Because in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to first create a new alternate set of this assembly. And an alternative set is basically the same assembly, but plus or minus a component or two. So here, this will be without the TV and the PS3. We're going to include a copy of everything that's in the current assembly. We'll scroll down and we'll find the PS3 and the TV. And we'll just right click and extract them out of this alternative set. Next, we're going to go ahead and create an exploded assembly. The, we'll choose the assembly to insert and we'll choose our alternative set. And then we'll choose the type of automatic explosion to use. Here, we'll use a spherical explosion. Like that, we're done. We can validate. And now we're going to go back to draft and we're going to project that exploded view into that second drawing. So we'll choose the drawing, we'll choose the assembly, we'll choose our exploded view, we'll choose the custom orientation of our exploded view, and we'll also choose to have it shaded. And we're also going to set the scale factor right away. We'll validate. And like that, we've included our exploded view. Now, maybe from here we should go ahead and add a bill of material too. Why not? So let's go here. We'll go to the user tab and we'll use a user to find bill of material with barcoding. We'll choose our drawing to put it on, the assembly to build it off of. It'll be a flat bill of material and we'll locate it right on our title block. Like that, our bill of material is complete. How cool is that? 
Next, maybe we want to add the balloons. So we'll go ahead to automatic indexing. We'll select that view. Top Solid does the heavy lifting for you. If you look, our balloons are kind of bleeding off into the border, so we're going to go change our scale real quick. It'll regenerate like that. Everything's good. We can use our Move Parents command if we want to move some of these balloons around so that they're more readable. And like that, in a few short minutes, you've created all the documentation you need to manufacture this part.